Hi, and welcome to another exciting episode of The Healthy Voyager. I'm Carolyn Scott Hamilton, and welcome to beautiful Bermuda. A beautiful island nation with British history that meets Caribbean flair, Bermuda is stunningly beautiful and boasts great shopping, dining, culture, and of course, fabulous beaches. No matter what kind of traveler you are, Bermuda has something for everyone. Did I mention the beautiful beaches? I dined at a number of authentic Bermudan establishments like the super fun Swizzle Inn featuring the namesake drink, the Swizzle. And I had the pleasure of staying in an eco-friendly room with a beautiful view at the Fairmont. So I'm here on the grounds of the National Bermuda Museum. It is located here at the uh, Navy Boatyard or Dockyard. There's lots of shopping and dining here and uh, this fantastic museum that looks like it's an old military base and fort. So I'm going to check out the grounds. Follow me. After sightseeing, I got to relax at my hotel and enjoy another Bermudan signature drink, the Dark and Stormy. After our rum tasting, they've taken us to the Watson's Farm and Market. So this is where they grow a lot of fresh local organic produce and uh, they've got a fabulous market that I'm going to pop into in just a moment and we're going to check out the grounds and see what they're growing here. Growing a wide array of organic veggies, Watson's is one of the few organic farms on the island. It was off to another locale, Gosling's Rum and Wine Store. So I'm here in front of Gosling's Wine Store where we're gonna be doing some rum tasting. I'm super excited to see what's going on with Bermuda and rum here at Gosling, so follow me. It's time for some Bermuda Gold made with local loquat fruit. Check it, check it out. I'm Taste it. Early morning, taste it. That comes from the seed of the low pot. So you use the seed and the flesh. Not bad, I have to say. It's liqueur, so I'm willing to bet the next few tastings are going to be a little tough. Next on the list is the Gosling's Family Reserve Old Rum. Look how beautiful this bottle is. Nice stuff. See how it is going down. Let me breathe, do a little swizzle. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Time to check out the other side of the island, St. George. Well, I'm here in King Square, which is located in St. George, which is the oldest settlement here on the island of Bermuda. In fact, uh, I'm sure I'm going to see the beach where the British ship shipwrecked and founded all by mistake and happenstance the island of Bermuda. So. This is an uh, old 1600 colony, so I'm excited to take this fun walking tour and see what lies ahead. So behind me, I am actually in the graveyard of the St. Peter's Anglican Church. And what is of note about this church is that it is the longest running Anglican Church in the Western Hemisphere. So it's been running, still in use since 1612, since uh, St. George here in Bermuda was settled. So uh, a lot of these graves are super, super old, and I'm gonna go inside and check out this church. As you can see behind me, there is the replica of one of the ships that settled Bermuda, and you just saw a gentleman walk past me in period clothing. I'm about to watch the ducking of the wives reenactment, which is when uh, the townsmen would dunk their wives into the chilly waters of this little bay here when they were gossips and nags, so let's check it out. I'm here in downtown Hamilton, and Hamilton is the capital of Bermuda and happens to be my namesake, so I'm going to check out Front Street, all the shopping and dining, follow me. So I was just looking for uh, a latte and I happened to find juice and beans here on Front Street in Hamilton 
They've got almond milk and soy milk for lattes, but they also have an Indian veggie buffet. And I found out that they have a vegan burrito uh, for breakfast burritos, which is a tofu scramble, and they can make it cheeseless and it's got potatoes in it, so I'm definitely coming back tomorrow for breakfast. So check them out here on Front Street, it's Juice and Beans. Just before my trip came to an end, I made sure to get my souvenirs and squeeze in a little more sightseeing. Well, that's a wrap on Bermuda. Be sure to join us next time on The Healthy Voyager.